Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Coffee with Carl. I am your host, Carl Zellner, uh, one of the attorneys here with Anderson Business Advisors. Today, I want to talk a little bit about your business nexus. Uh, the most simple definition of business nexus is basically where what is your connection to the state in which that entity is conducting business in order to justify that it functions under that state's laws. So um, as a, by way of an example, a lot of times we have clients come in who've set up uh, Wyoming or Nevada entities and have no business nexus in Wyoming or Nevada. And at that point, you're sort of just have a paper tiger at your disposal. So yes, it is a Nevada or a Wyoming entity. However, if you get sued and you cannot justify having a business nexus in Wyoming or Nevada, the argument is in the plaintiff's favor that your entity should be pulled in to whatever state you currently reside in. So this can be a, a substantial issue for folks, say, in California, if you're using out-of-state entities uh, and other states that have weak asset protection laws. So it's incredibly important to understand the business nexus as well as how to sort of provide it or how to create it if you don't have it. So one of the services we offer at Anderson is our corporate assistance program. Really, that corporate assistance program is built around creating that business nexus, and we require it for anybody that will have a Nevada or Wyoming entity, because without it, you have almost zero shot at having a Wyoming or Nevada entity being able to function under Wyoming or Nevada law in the case that you get sued and somebody tries to go after that, what we term a holding company. So it's an incredibly important piece of that corporate assistance program. To build upon that, it not only provides you a mailing address and a business address in those states, but it also provides things like um, a telephone service, or excuse me, a phone line service or whatever, however you want to term it, uh, as well as a, uh, a lease upon request, we can provide lease. But that whole product is actually built around creating that nexus in that state. So that out of state investors who want to take advantage of the laws of Wyoming, the laws of Nevada are able to create that business nexus so that if you get sued, your entity will hold up with that footing in that state. Another a couple of other pieces that generate with that corporate assistance program is that we will help you with your meetings and minutes, we'll help you with the compliance side of your business entity, sort of these little things that we're not really paying, that a lot of folks aren't don't pay a ton of attention to a lot of times because you're busy running your business, but it's incredibly important should you get sued, okay? One of the first things, or a lot of things are professionals I've heard or professional criticism we've heard is, well, technically in an LLC, you don't need meetings. Okay, great. But one of the first things <laughs> that comes to light in a lawsuit or in an audit is, okay, so let's see those meetings and minutes or let's see your books and records. Things like that matter, even if they're not required. So as I mentioned, that corporate assistance program helps on all fronts there. And really the value is creating that overall business nexus in a state where you may not say physically have a personal presence there in order to help justify it. So uh, just wanted to clear that up a little bit. There's some, there's always lots of questions on, well, how do I, how does my Wyoming entity help me if I'm here in Texas or I'm here in Washington, DC, or I'm here in New York? Well, that net creating that business nexus in those states is how that entity helps you there. And then you get to take advantage of all of the anonymity aspects as well as the asset protection aspects of those states. So I uh, just want to touch on that a little bit. Um, as always, if anybody has any questions and you are a client, you're more than welcome to schedule a time with myself or any of the other attorneys. Um, it, I would also encourage everybody to continue to keep taking advantage of all of our free content out there. We like our clients to be educated so we can have productive conversations when we start looking at accessing that consulting side. So until next time, I want to thank everybody for joining me with joining me for Coffee with Carl. I look forward to seeing y'all. Uh, I'll be atten I plan to attend, of course, Toby's Tax Tuesdays and watching Tony's Talks as well. So I'm also a, consum a consumer of our content as well because I like it. Uh, so until next time, thanks for joining me and we will catch you on the next episode. Thanks, everyone.